Steve is putting the chicken onto the rotisserie for me. Um, there's certain jobs that I just like him to do and also he likes to be involved. Doesn't usually drop something, it must be nerves. Right, so you have to make sure you get it in evenly. If you don't, your chicken will wobble and potentially it will hit the heating element or flop at the bottom. That's why the spikes are there, so you can get it either side of the backbone of a chicken and get it into the center of a piece of meat. You do have to be quite firm with it, but just be careful you don't hurt yourself. Not the, uh, it should be really easy. But you have to give it a little bit of a wiggle once it starts going. Obviously, it's uh, gone. There you go. There you go. And uh, push it all the way home. That way, uh, chicken won't spin. And tighten. Make sure you tighten the screws. And you, you, know, you can uh, loosen one and then try and get it as even as possible on the skewer. So roughly the same distance from each and end. And then obviously you need to do it up. Okay, can you see the distance of the skewer that's hanging out each end is pretty similar? Right, I'm on. Right, now you're going to think we're going mad, but really we're not, honestly. Little tip, this bowl is possibly a little bit big, but you can see, it's a string, but if you leave it like that, you can basically turn it and season, and any seasoning that you throw on ends up in the bowl rather than all over your worktop. So I'm just going to wash my hands which is perfect because I do moan when there's seasoning all over the worktop. Well, moan, I kind of say, what have you done now? There you go. Right, so the butter that's melting, Steve is going to brush over the chicken. And I can melt some more for um, basting during cooking if needed. So be generous. I mean, you know, it is uh, Sainsbury's taste the difference after all. Let's make sure we can taste it. Never mind taste the difference. I mean, obviously you want to try and get in uh, all the nooks and crannies. really hot in this kitchen. I have to keep the door closed if the TV's on but I'm just going to open it because I've switched it off and that's for copyright purposes the door has to be closed. Right in here we have a mixture of garlic powder, salt and pepper. Freshly ground salt, freshly ground black pepper. So can you see because it's over the bowl you can turn it. It's not going to sit and get everything all on just one edge and um, yeah we can just turn it round and away we go again so there we are in fact i can hold it for steve because i'm only holding the phone with the tripod that noise you can probably hear which is doing my head in is the ice machine so I am sorry but I'm not switching it off because after this we'll definitely need a nice cold drink and that was an ice cold drink not a nice cold drink right Pen did make some uh, I did make pot. some but that pot wasn't big enough so Steve will have to go freehand on the rest now you may think crikey that's a lot of garlic powder but it's not really it doesn't, it's not like it's going to overwhelm your chicken. Can you see that mess going everywhere? See, I told you, didn't I? A bit more basting. And I need to get the garlic powder out for Steve, so bear with. 
Oh, it's right, he's gonna get it, that's fine. That's Malden sea salt that is going on there, so it's something we always use in cooking anyway. Actually, that's a fib, it's not Malden sea salt, it's Cornish sea salt, but sea salt will definitely complement the Malden that's in the butter. There you go, generous with the garlic powder. And that, as they say, is all there is to it. Next, you'll be watching us put it into the machine. Just checking the temperature of the chicken. It looks beautifully crisps all over, and I don't know if you can see that. We're at 78, and the chicken needs to be at 80, 74, sorry, 84, 74 degrees to be cooked at 74C, by the way, for any of you American followers or anybody who is who uses Fahrenheit. Okay, so chicken done potatoes in, everything else in. I'll be putting the veggies on in a moment.